So here we are given a function f of x comma y, which is a function of two variable, and it's given by x cubed plus y cubed. Now we need to find out partial of f with respect to x and the rest. So let's begin one by one. We'll first consider the function f of x comma y, which is given by x cubed plus y cubed. Let's label this as number one. First thing first, let's find out the partial of f with respect to x. So whenever we're calculating the partial derivative of a particular function with respect to x, then we will consider x to be the variable and y will be treated as a constant. So that means we'll use the usual method of derivative. So we'll take derivative, uh, partial derivative with respect to x of x cubed plus y cubed. Now this will be equal to partial with respect to x of x cubed plus partial with respect to x of y cubed. Now generally this is, uh, only has an x dependence, there is no y here, so we can also denote it by the ordinary derivative of x cubed plus now partial of y cubed with respect to x, that will be simply zero because y will be treated as a constant. And derivative of x cubed, that will be simply 3x squared. So this is the value of partial of f with respect to x. Now we can find out partial of f with respect to x, uh, with respect to y. So that will be partial with respect to y of x cubed. That will become 0 plus partial with respect to y of y cubed. So that will give us 3y squared. Right. Now we have found out partial with respect to x let's label this as number one and partial of f with respect to y that will be number three our next task will be to find out the second partial derivative of f with respect to x the second partial derivative of f with respect to x so this can be also expressed as partial with respect to x of the partial of f with respect to x so we have already obtained the value of partial of f with respect to x which is 3x squared so that means we have partial with respect to x will replace partial of f with respect to x with 3x squared obtained in number 2. So we'll take the derivative, we'll take the normal derivative since there is only x dependence. So this will be equals to 6x. So let's label this as number 4. Then we'll find out partial, second uh, partial derivative of f with respect to y. So this will be equals to partial with respect to y of partial of f with respect to y. So partial of f with respect to y, that's 3y squared. So that means we'll have to find out the partial with respect to y of 3y squared. So this will be equals to 6y. So this is number 5. Next, we have to obtain partial of f with respect to y with respect to x. So let me, this one, let's write it down first. So we have to obtain so this can be also represented as we take partial with respect to y x of partial of f with respect to y. So that means this will be equals to partial with respect to x of the so we have calculated partial of f with respect to y, which is 3y squared. Now we know that well, y will be treated as a constant whenever we are taking the partial derivative with respect to x. So this will simply go to zero. And if we calculate partial to, uh, with respect to y and with respect to x, so this means first we have to take partial of f with respect to x and then we take its partial with respect to y. So with partial with respect to y of partial of f with respect to y, x, which is uh, 3x squared, so this will simply give us 0 because x will be treated as a constant. And clearly here we see that these two values are equal, so we can say that they were exactly equal to each other.